How's it hanging fellas? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of Borderlands 3 and in today's episode we're in Jacob's estate or Jacob's Manor, whatever this place is called. You can see these funny missions. We're gonna have to do lots of shit in today's episode. There's like cool shield. Anything better than this? No. In today's episode we're gonna go through Jacob's Manor and there is a side quest in this location but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna go and go to that location. Like a, there are shields when I, you crouch, there's like a shield, like a physical shield displayed in front of you. And it can bounce back bullets. And it's, those are pretty cool. As much as I like grenades that blow up when impacting an enemy. Does my clone, who's the only way I can throw grenades in this game, through my clone, does he throw them any good? I can't even see, and I don't really look at how he fights. Right, uh, you. Tell What's up? Job held by the witch. Up to no good, I'd wager. Well, okay, hey, cool. I'm Merle. Spelled like Hurl. Warlock. Hurl. Practitioner of the fiery arts. There's a bunch of shit in this location. But what I want to do in today's episode is do the main quest and not focus on the side ones. See if you can't find out what she's up to. Uh, there's one side quest in this. Actually, how many is this fucking? Okay, how many quests there are? So this is a quest which involves this location, this part of the location. There's a quest which in, involves the manor, which is the, the whole of this. And there's a quest that also takes place like alongside the other one. So I suppose we're gonna go the main one and do this one as well. By the way, what the... Alright, never mind. Oh man, bandits. They're level 25, they're... why are they higher level than me? I went the wrong way. Slugger, why is this slugger so good? Who shot me with that ridiculous damage rocket launcher? I wish when these suicidal ones die, they wouldn't fucking leave bombs behind them because they're the most annoying part of them. You guys kill people on one side, I'm gonna focus on the other side. And teleport AI oh, is dead. I wanna teleport. Go insane, go crazy, go stupid. Alive. Apparently, there's a fucking Battleborn Easter egg somewhere in this map. This is the map where Moe's was revealed. This is the one where. I think alongside Moe's reveal, they also used this map as a reveal of this planet. You know, maybe this gun's a little better. I think it's a little better. Would be also better if I wasn't such a bad shot. But one psycho came out of another. Now how I said last episode that there's no porn of these psycho female bandits. Because I did my research. I'm a very dedicated Warlands fan. <laughs> Oh, well, there is a bunch of cosplay, so I suppose that kind of counts. Well, it doesn't because it's not for cosplay. You know what, Goliath? You could have killed at least more of your friends when you were rampaging around. Alright, alright, alright. I like how Goliaths, when they die, they always say something about immortality. Every illiterate piece of talking meat to worship them with blind devotion makes a rich bitch want a cult of her own. Perhaps when my business here is finished. There's a bunch of like uh, side quests. I mean, side quests like objectives, like missing clap traps and stuff like that. Apparently, this is also a really good spot to farm this guy. So he's a loot, I think. And when you kill him. You open his backpack and he gives you a bunch of loot and he can give legendaries away. He's such a nice guy. 
Okay, open, open. Are you even trying? A legendary. What is this? It's a monocle. That is a monocle. It's a little worse than my sniper rifle. This is a tough. Jesus Christ. I haven't died in a while, so I'm actually not sure when the. the you know how every time you die in the game? Uh, I mean, every time you go into a fight for your life. More, the more time you go into that mode, the less time you will have to kill someone. And I'm not. Oh no, I'm gonna die. And I'm not sure when does that reset. So, for example, when I'm. When I died a bunch of. Like, I got into fight for your life mode last episode a bunch of times. Does that mean in this episode I'm also gonna have a short time? It might mean that actually. But I don't think it resets when I go into a different location. I think it resets when I finally actually die. So what does it have? Uh, it doesn't have a shield popping up. It's pretty much really similar to mine. Let's go check out this legendary I got. It's a legendary sniper rifle by Jacobs. Looks the same as if I would put this skin on it. Yeah, it looks about the same. Then it's a monocle, it's a pretty good one. And I might wanna use it for like today's episode or something. I'm gonna use it for like one episode. Why not? It's a cool looking gun. Might as well use it. Inside the manor by way of a rather well, something cool around, around here, wasn't there? Jacob's estate has more entrances than a harlot at a bordello for squids. If you don't mind a tight squeeze. Speaking of suckers, while you distract all right, for I'll squids, he said. That's kinky. My father had a study hidden underneath the stage. There's a clue to the vault key. It'll be in Six. there. Like, I know there's also another one that holds head explosion. Explosion, I think, comes back from Borderlands 2, actually. But in Borderlands 2, it wasn't a legendary. In this game, it's a legendary out of a chest. Fuck. In this game, it's a legendary. And a lot of people say that this is the best Jacob sniper rifle. I don't know, it's just like really normal. It doesn't do anything special. Like, explosion does that when you hit someone, when you score, like, kill someone, he blows up. I think it just deals splash damage. It's like a splash damage Jacob sniper rifle. But this one just doesn't do anything cool. All it does oh, differently, it uh, zooms in more than normal sniper rifles. No more than a but I don't think that's a, because of the sniper rifle like legendary effect. That's because of the scope I have. So, yeah, that's a little lame. Let me in. Bitches, I'm using my fucking sniper rifle. Please do come in. That woman can make even See, this is the place where I noticed the glitch with the stuff loading in. I feel like this is the place where you... It's particularly noticeable. You, you see these lights, right? I'm not crazy. I am not. Why are you calling me a whore? This is very not, not inviting. I don't know who taught you manners, but I swear to god, you don't call visitors a whore. Look, a recording. Cardridge. So, Clayton, you wish to speak to me? Clay's fine. Oh, now we gotta... Got Aww. Got generous offer on the Jacobs Corporation. Didn't even get introduced to him, now you know how he looks. But I thought you want to know it came from one Aurelia Hamelock. I assure you, she cares little for Jacobs itself. This is about me. I figured out that much myself. But your sister doesn't strike me as a type to let things lie. You know her, Alistair. Is this the end or the beginning? The lizard. I actually totally Brain didn't know. Oh my god, this is very really noticeable we because children, of all the my sister and I found all the an doorways. extremely rare lizard in the woods near our home. A magnificent specimen. Aurelia wanted to keep it as a pet, but my sister has never been one for cultivating life, shall we say. It's extremely I noticeable now that I've mentioned her it. insisting the lizard was hers. I labored to build it a proper habitat, natural flora, the right balance of water and sunlight, ample food. Oh, is this? Oh, that's a rock. But one day I returned to find the lizard dead. The water level was too high. There were scratch marks on the glass, where it had clawed madly for air. And you blamed yourself. 
I did. Can I just can you shut up with this whole Related touching to story of how Aurelia was a bitch from the beginning? She had left a block of ice in the habitat to slowly melt, forcing the lizard to scramble ever higher until it was too late. Had she simply wanted to kill it, she could have done so, but that's not her way. Aurelia wanted me to believe that I was to blame. Well, luckily we ain't lizards. An astute observation. Also, I actually I never knew that Camelot's name was Alistar. How long the waters have been rising. I mean, I knew that, but I never just called him Alistar. Like, I don't, I never heard of people calling him Alistar. It's usually just Hammerlock. Look, a first person cutscene. And Zane just doesn't say Jeez, shit. He's like, ah. the look on your stupid face. I bet I don't have a look on my face because I'm a camera. Not bad, Baroness. Baroness. Cool to see more Vault Hunters returning from previous games. You know, I'll really guys. From PC, cool. Yes. Is that she's not on our side. Yeah, I was mentioning the last episode, but I don't think I elaborated on that. Yeah, Troy, introduce yourself and I'm gonna explain what I meant. But things are changing. This is where the part where I kind of started to like Troy more than Tyreen. What is this? What is this? Your siren friend? She didn't know what she had. With this power? He looks stop. cool, that's for sure, but. Goddamn sky. You know, Tyreen says we I remember let you how people were speculating yeah, what is that thing he has on his neck? This like two crystals thing in front of his them. neck. No, people were making theories anymore. what it could be, not and it just turned out to be nothing but a necklace. Fill your hands, you zealot scum! Hey, it's huh? Wainwright, he's here to help me. He actually I'm shot him. Kill you. Come and get me, you rat faced bastard! He really is a rat faced. Hey, we don't fight Troy yet. New plan! Yet. You search the cabaret! I'll keep this punk ass rat boy running around Bonk like a yes. with his bum Damn it, I'm such a bad aim. Wanted to fucking knock off his helmet and he just doesn't do it. The sniper rifle isn't that good. You should back away. End of the road for ya. You going for me? I think it might be going for me. What was I saying? In pre-sequel in the Hollow Dome Onslaught DLC, which is a big wave defense DLC and it sucks. There is one cool redeeming quality of it, is that you get to listen to Gage and Axton and Athena talking about stuff. And in the introduction is that Gage and Axton have been on a mission together looking for remaining Vault Hunters, which gives you an idea that maybe because of the ending where the Watcher comes and says something like Gather all the Vault Hunters, you need them. And then this game proceeds to ignore that completely. Another loop thing. Now don't go away, you gotta stay here. Gotta get another Legendary. Uh, give me legendary stuff. Oh, I didn't got anything. Legendary. Let's see what I did got though. Oh, Little pistol. And fuck off, I'm looking at stuff. Sorry, I got interrupted. No, I don't want to update the game. No, go away. I think it was a. Uh, patch today because when I turn on this game it had to download something where they balanced some kind of grenade that was a grenade in the game that if you threw it at a boss it would melt him I think it was like a pipe bomb or a glass bomb something like that oh my favorite my favorite fucking idiot go away go away I'm gonna die fuck off you're the worst enemy I swear to god I hate you so much I'm gonna die because of you fucking piece of stupid fucking shit. Alright, anyway, what was I saying? I was saying a lot of things. I was saying how in Hollow the Monslaught, Gage and Axon have been talking about gathering all the warriors and this game ignores uh, Watcher's warning that the war is coming and we need to gather all the all the motherfucking Vault Hunters and... And they said they found Aurelia, but then Aurelia in this game is evil and she does not help you, so... I suppose that means... 
Yeah, I suppose that. Oh yeah, couldn't you fucking do it all the time? Throw it away. Thank you. Your best isn't good enough. Well, actually, you killed me, so I guess there's. You didn't fucking kill me because he's good. He killed me because he has a stupid ass shield. Maybe I should win it with a shield too. No. How about no? That was another thing I wanted to mention. Uh, I don't know what it was. Oh yeah, this game has a ridiculous amount of motherfucking legendary revolvers in the game. So I don't know if like in... I don't know, there's like maybe up around two legendary doll pistols. Well, the legendary revolvers, there is the Maggie. There is like one called Duck. There is Queen something and King something. They are the same, but they have different names. And they're like two different legendaries that do the same thing. There is a uh, Maggie, coming from Borderlands 2. There is a uh, Wagon Wheel, a Companion. Companion is particularly cool in my opinion, because it has a large magazine size. And a bunch more of them. this some dude hey, in a closet Wayne Rice this fella's not getting up why that's Baldrin our family butler mm, Baldrin he does not buried. look very bold now it seems he's joined them my father always suspected him of recording their conversations see if he managed to capture his own untimely end it seems like the same damn quest that we had one time alright so this is the so remember how in Borderlands... Oh wait, it was in this fucking Borderlands. And... The fuck was it called? The space level when we were on that comet. Something with this? No. I gotta find like a secret, but I don't know where the fuck it is. Okay, there's one. Aha! Uh -huh. That statue was wearing a wire! Appears that it was transmitting its recordings to the safe nearby. In that one we have a It'll quest where we have to so help a spy. To open it up. We have to go around and help a spy find the recording that his friend did, but he died. And in this fucking mission we pretty much do the same thing. So I activated like a bunch of statues with targets above their heads now. They're all different, but they all look equally fancy. I wish to know more about this whole Jacob family thing. Don't know why I thought we get a gun. Fire you, more like murder you. Gonna get killed now. And I intend to stay right here. Unless you want it going public that you've gotten into bed with With who? With Wainwright? We're in a bit of a hiring freeze at the moment. Seems Baldwin was still a loyal servant in his own way. If he did have blackmail against Aurelia, he'd have given it to the other staff for safety. You know what, I'm gonna keep going gonna because if I'm just gonna stand here I'm gonna Fucking suck. Even if I made this episode 40 minutes. If this portion of the episode is gonna end up being 40 minutes. What the fuck am I looking for? It's like a. like a dead body on a bed. I don't know who was that. Probably some Jacob family member and I just fucking killed him. He was studying a medium, it seems. That's interesting. That is indeed in a way this interesting. That's a sick song. I'm gonna keep it here. Should I keep using that legendary? Aren't you the one who has to suck at your sister's teeth for sustenance? That sounds really gross. So anyway, where did you find that out? How can they expand so much outside of their planets? You know how Pandora was like 
Tansom Jack's primary objective. What if Pandora was just not what he was interested in and he just ended up... Well, it was what he was interested in because he found knowledge about the warrior inside, which was like a powerful weapon, monster. It's a cool sniper rifle. What am I fucking looking at? That's not even what I wanted. Am I brain dead? Go to the theater. Search servants' quarters. I want to do both of these quests at the same time. Oh, no. At the same time, and I just don't want to accidentally forget to do one, so I have to go back to this location. I still have a quest for a witch, you have. Which I'm gonna do next episode because that one is a little. It's not long, but it's like it's definitely not a kill a kill of all kind of long. So it's definitely not a short quest I'm gonna do alongside this one. So maybe what I'm gonna do is next episode I'm gonna begin by doing that quest about a witch. Or the one I'm more. Don't waste it! Five minutes of fame! And then we're gonna do a little bit more main plot, because I don't think I have anything else available. And whatever the main plot will be, I won't do much of it, because I bet that stupid mission for a witch will be long enough. Cool shit inside those chests. Give me that. Servant's quarters. Why is there so much violence in this video game? Then later I'm gonna go and murder people in real life. <laughs> video game is not violence. I was violent anyway. I was gonna kill them because they just pissed me off. I seriously hate how much I noticed this fucking loading thing. They should patch that out. Actually that, that's not part of the patch. Because you know, patching a grenade, yeah, okay, you gotta dispatch like, with da damage or something. But then in. But then patching something like that out, I think like, you would have like fixed the whole fucking game. And I'm not saying this game is broken, it's just that it, in this particular location it's extremely noticeable how stuff loads, loads in when you're not looking at it. Can, it's kind of dark in here. A loot tank, come back, come back. No. Those elves, come back. What is he doing, actually? When he does that. I think he's trying to dig himself an exit. Maybe you do. Give me legendary. Oh, he got a bomb inside. No, he was the one who threw a bomb. He just didn't have a backpack. That fucking sucks. I see people most often for legendaries, they farm that one loot thing that actually gave me a legendary. That one that gave me a monocle. That one at the beginning of this episode. They farm that one, because it's a pretty easy farm, because there's like a safe spot right next to it. So it's pretty quick. And I think on like make him one, which increases rarity drops by like 200 percent Where for example when I was fighting Grave Wars on make him one, I was pretty much every time getting some legendaries. Which is cool. Definitely makes farming less tedious in this game. I'll shoot him in a helmet, you gain all hell, that'll be annoying. Wouldn't that be so annoying? Your face when you shoot a Goliath and he regenerates all health. That moment when Goliath regenerates all health and you fucking die and get annoyed, like fuck my life, kind of annoyed. Not a relatable moment. Why does everyone hate Ava? I noticed. I was browsing a little bit of uh, Borderlands 3 at Reddit. Mostly for memes, but I noticed that everyone fucking hates Ava. I don't really hate Ava. And that's why I didn't realize what the fuck's wrong with her, actually. I just thought she was like not as good Tiny Tina. 
think what might be, what might annoy them, might be annoying about Ava is so later in the game. She gets a credit for stuff you do. And that, that, that can be, to be honest. Be quite annoying. But so did people in Borderlands too. Like, I mean, Lilith got credit for killing Handsome Jack even he was the one who fucking fought him all the time. Well, well, she's the one who struck the final blow, so she's the one who killed him, legendary Firefall. Kill her Handsome Jack. Kill her for fucking Crimson Raiders and Pandora State. Good job. I don't forget how this fucking thing works. Like, when I hold it... Oh, I have to charge it, I see. Alright, alright, I got this. I understand now. There's like a room over here, isn't it? I don't know, it's just the darkness. Wait, how do I get there? Not oh, this way, okay, let me see. I see lightning glitches. There's a claptrap here. Push that guy out of his wheelchair. Who does that? I do that. GG. Door opening module? Typhon. He looks pretty cool, in my opinion, Typhon de Leon. That's just a movie poster. How can you trust a movie Damn poster? That hobby. What's that on their back? I think somewhere... Oh, there you go. This is the door. You can see that star Timothy Doppelman as Handsome Jack. So Timothy is now an actor. He was a Borderlands pre-sequel Vault Hunter. My favorite Vault and Hunter up until this game, which actually I don't know who changed door. my opinion. Zane Don't maybe did. Zane is pretty I cool. I hope both the quests are from Wainwright and he just kind of talks in both of them. <laughs> so one second he's like, oh, this is my butler's secret sex tape. Yeah, I remember watching that as a kid. And the next time he's just like, oh my god, quick, I'm chased by a fucking siren dude. Look, there's a uh, vending machine. Slot machine, not vending machine. Go away with this stupid, unfunny bullshit. Oh, by the way, the red weapons are just uh, anointed weapons. They are not uh, a new rarity in the game. Hey, Vault Thief! Want to see something your dead siren friend? And you might be questioning, what are anointed weapons? What is anointed? That's a weird word. Well, you're about to find out what is anointed. This is anointed. Purple people. The anointed. Sick burn, bro. So apparently a lot of people hate this boss fight. I don't know am I about to hate this boss fight, I will see. I don't know bullets does not stick to it. Am I shooting him? It's not even a boss fight, look, it doesn't have a health bar above the on the top of the screen. He was definitely well, he wasn't presented as a boss fight, it's just that he is A new anointed introduction. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Or not. What is he? Get him! Oh fuck off. <laughs> teleporting around and shit, that's pretty annoying. No one likes teleporting in it. Last episode we fought the dwarf. Not dwarf, dwarf. And he was annoying. Oh shit. Because. He regained his health from like having almost no health to having full health like twice in the one boss fight. Which I admit was annoying as all hell. Also this place is dark, you can't see what I'm fucking shooting at. It's pretty cool. I heard that Gearbox got a whole team for designing boss fights for this game. And you can clearly tell because boss fights are way fucking more awesome in this game than they were in previous ones. Shit! Oh no. Clone! He's already dead, are you kidding me? That was the worst time I could have picked for a reload. Come on! Oh my god. I'm gonna stay to this. It's gonna be easier to shoot him, right? No, it's gonna make it easier for me to get shot. God damn it. Come on, drone.
No, 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 drone! Oh, come on. You almost had him, drone. You almost had him. I'll give you that. What is fucked up? Nothing to talk about. Mm, I don't know. Subjects. This is the first episode in a while where I actually don't feel like shit and I can talk and I would be like, oh, guys, I feel like shit. I don't think I'm gonna make up this episode much longer. That's why I was in, like, one of the last few episodes. Cool, I'm dead. Billy the Anointed Joe fucking proves how fucking annoying he is. That's what people have already nicknamed him. Billy the Annoying. That is really a dumb name, Anointed. He does throw grenades, except he kinda sucks at it. Oh shit. Billy, Billy, Billy. Silly Willy. Now get the fuck out of my face. I like how he bows. Why am I dead? What happened to me? What the fuck happened? Kill! Come on, now shoot him. I like the point. I should shoot. Trying to kill a cloud kill isn't that good. The cloud kill has a cool effect that, like, you know, like enemies are beginning to like radiate with energy, and everyone close to them gets or gets damaged by that. My action skills are gone. That's no good. Oh, I jumped right into it. Could have fucking not do anything. Where is he? I where the fuck is he? Shot me through a wall. Oh wait, I gotta kill someone. Oh thanks, I don't know who did that. I, I don't think it was me. I think the skull's gonna be shot. Fucking great, jump right into it. Oh, that other one pretty good though. And, but what the fuck happened to him? He was like in the side of wall and he shot through it. And hit me. For the worst part. Come on, get that fat bastard. Oh, go away. I'm inside the cross now. I hate whenever my action skills are gone. This makes me feel so uneasy. My action skills are around. At least I'm like, okay, if I die, I'm gonna maybe have my Digicon here for to save me. Now there's not even anyone around. It's me and Billy. Fight for to the death. This really makes me wish I could force fire on this thing. Look slow it's fine. Oh no. I'm dead. I was. So I fuck. He fucked me up like one shot. Doesn't seem to have critical spots, too. I wanted to deploy a clone when he was. When I would be low on health, so I could. But I wasn't even low on health. He just fucked me up like one hit. I don't know what he even did. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just fucking. I guess I just suck ass. Really the annoying. I beat him first try on my flag, but now I just can't fucking do it. You piece of shit. Why are you so annoying? Oh fuck off. I hate these balls you make. Chase me over the place. Fucking zipping around like a motherfucker and he just pisses me off. 
different piece of shit, badass motherfucking purple Donuts wannabe cunt. I run out of insults. Or at least I run out of insults that wouldn't get me banned from YouTube. No, I'm dying. Where's my clone? Where'd he go? Where's anyone to kill? Everyone else is gone. Might as well give up. Fucking great job. Oh my god. It's gonna be an hour long again, isn't it? I fucking hate this fucking shit. You may feel incomplete, as though some vital piece of you is missing. Hyperion, shut the fuck up. I don't even know if she has a name, I don't think she does. Where are you walking, bitch? Why do you have to regain all health? Fucking wars. Come on, wrong help. There's not even like any bandits I can kill now. I just have to get him in like one perfect run. At least before I died like so many times, but I gotta. Each time I had a bandit to kill. And now there's just me and him. That's it. Go away with these fucking skulls. I guess the bonus of that is that my drone isn't getting confused on who he's supposed to shoot. And why does this suck uh, fucking sound wave he's shooting at me? Sound wave, my favorite fucking transformer. Why is it like going through everything in this path? Like he shot it through a wall that one time and I totally didn't expect that to happen. It sucks. He's low on hell. I mean, low. Oh, fuck off. He's just gonna do some one-punch bullshit. Told you. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, I would jump. I jumped. I... Maybe these are, like, one... Oh, these are second wins. Oh, who's behind me? My old friend behind me. Oh, pretty. I don't like you, Billy. You're the piece of shit that... He's so annoying. He's like a bully from middle school. Just does not fucking like you see him immediately. You get annoyed that he's fucking here in the same room. He just died in some tragic accident. Tragic, well, tragic maybe for the family. Come on, Billy, you piece of shit. Billy, you motherfucker. What happened to you? Yes, turn into my army is endless. stone. But you, know what? you gave me a legendary. Thanks, Billy. Right. Billy, now what is that? that? Boys out of our hell, let's get to business. The trap door to my father's study has a trick latch. You'll hmm. need to figure out the solution. Get up to the technician's booth. I found a legendary again. Like I know this game is quite... Wait, it's uh, nice with the amount of legendaries you get, but this is kind of ridiculous how many legendaries I keep getting. Alright, so let's keep moving, I guess. I'm gonna make more progress. <laughs> see about these lights I was talking about? They're really noticeable when you actually see them. Some, some puzzle. for some clues as to which props need to be out. Yeah, I wish these things loaded and I can actually fucking tell what they're supposed to look like. Uh, Handsome Jack's supposed to be there. I think Typhon is supposed to be there. And some kind of kingdom? Not a forest. Not a tundra. It's like a sniper rifle. Assault rifle, that's cool. My father kept posters of his yeah, I know, so the Stifon de Leon, Handsome Jack, and well, if you wouldn't actually listen to the Typhon recording, Typhon mentioned something about the uh, kingdom, so that's actually another clue. Is this one? I know. My father always loved Typhon de Leon and the vault ruins. Oh, maybe this. For that and set it up on stage. Maybe it wasn't Handsome Jack, I'm sorry. I knew it was a vault, though. That trap door on the stage like the background is Typhon. Hurry, you've gotta search it. 
chill out. I just wanted to fucking jump down. Don't beat the shit out of the floor. I think this gun is good. Control. Looks what cool. Are we looking for? Actually, looks uh, normal. Entirely sure. My father said he kept all his records down there. Look for something record like. Kinda cute. Record like, okay. Like a record, for example. Is that record enough for you? Record like enough? And I gotta keep uh, in mind the other quest I'm doing. Or else I'm gonna have a heart attack that I haven't done two quests at the same time. And another one of my episodes is one hour long. And I keep talking about that because I'm super duper obsessed with it. I don't even know what I pressed. I think I pressed a skull. It's Sans! Sans, no! Record, He's gone. That record's as old as Jacob's Corporation, and I got the only Ligno phonograph player in the entire oh, system. No if you wanted to leave me a message, that must be it. Bring it on back to the lodge, Bald Hunter. What's a Lingo phonograph player? Oh shit. Got it, Boyle. On my way back. Boyle, it's funny that he calls him Boyle. This one works. Alright, so... So, that's the... Exit through cellar. And I gotta search the cellar. But it's like uh lower, right? leaving so soon? <laughs> Very well. Let me at least explain myself. You mean nothing to me, so I sold you to the Calypso twins. But See, there's another know, person I'm who just completely the disregards the fact that I'm a fucking badass fault hunter. Karagawa was the same, like, oh I don't care about you. <laughs> Wait, what is he fucking found? It was like ah. Oh. Oh, like a secret exit! That's awesome, dude. Let's find more of these recordings, I guess. Ooh, the Gatling gun! Ooh, the fastest shit. Is this explosive? Oh, it's spawning bombs as I shoot it. Same ferocity flint. Okay, this is actually kind of fucking awesome. Except I'm getting hit by those too. Ah, uh, maybe that's why it has such a skull, because I'm supposed to do it like long range. I'm still... I mean, I'm getting hit by something else. They're flying like towards me. So I'm kinda glad I got so many legendaries, because my Borderlands 2 I was quite lucky with legendaries too. Alright, these guys are actually not that big of a joke. I mean, not... I thought they were kind of a joke. Like, some silly little dinosaurs. Uh, they aren't as silly as I thought. Okay, where are these recordings I'm looking for? Dope. He said dope. He said dope, and is that a dinosaur? Yes, it is. I want a fucking dinosaur, and it's scary. It's ridiculous how big this fucking thing is. It's a motherfucking dinosaur, and it's called Tyrant. What is this, Resident Evil? I actually got rid of Resident Evil like around Resident Evil 7 before I actually never liked Resident Like, I had never been a fan of any horror game, but then I played Resident Evil 7, and I was like, wow, this is fucking awesome. I kind of like the thrill of being chased by some spooky shit. And I actually beat the game like at night. Actually, no, I didn't beat uh, Resident Evil 7. But I did beat Resident Evil 2 Remake. And the weird thing about that game, it made my PS4 like... ...work extra hard. It was just like... Whenever I would turn on the game and it would read the disc, it sounded like the thing was about to blow up. Or melt and overheat. A new chapter in saga. That pink slip is made out to one Claire Connolly. Well, I remember her. She was a dining attendant. Always kept my father's cup full. Track her down and see if she knows where the blackmail is stashed. Uh, I don't know. I need to track her down. You're kidding me, man. I want to get the fuck out of it and be done with the quest. Alright, where is Claire, by the way? Claire is in... Oh, she's at the beginning, okay. That's easy. There's the witch, by the way, we have to talk to. I'm not gonna talk to her yet. 
I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away, I'm gonna make you guys fight the clone. Go, fight him, he's a tough motherfucker. Holy shit, imagine my clone with this rifle. Shooting people and making all these balls of explosions show up. That would be extremely fucking annoying. Aurelia? That icy bitch fired me. Didn't even give me my back pay. All she offered me was this old Surprise you're wine. still alive. Takes a freaking cyanide. You want dirt on her? I hid something out in the abandoned shack. Baldwin got some pretty ugly recordings before he got the icicle. Wait, that was actual sign. I was like, what is happening to the game? Why is it zooming out? I'm just holding a fucking analog stick. Where is it? Why is it all the way there? I'm gonna do it next episode, I don't care. This episode is action packed enough. I don't, I don't know what to do about these legendaries because they don't really have that good damage. I just kind of want to use legendaries because they're cool. So see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.